My name is Isa Shaheen. I'm a sound engineer and sound designer for Athar Jiddu. I got on board on this project through my earlier work with Rashad. We've worked together countless times and we truly enjoy working together. It was apparent from day one that Rashad wanted our sound to be involved in the project. Some of the biggest challenges while working on this project is I would say Masisa's intricate orchestration. As a mixing engineer and mastering engineer, there were just so many intricate elements that needed to pop out for the big screen. Giving his music justice to translate well into big theater speakers, into home speakers, into TV speakers. That was somewhat the biggest challenge for me as a mixing engineer. From a sound designer aspect, it was quite straightforward and actually quite fun to work on. Um, there was a lot of experimentation involved, a lot of creative thought behind the sounds that were chosen for sound design and just to elevate that picture. Even the dialogue, there wasn't much on set recording, which needed to be fixed in post. It was all recorded in the studio narrative style. Sound design was quite fun to work on. Masis's orchestration is always brilliant. The man is just talented. His choice of emotion to bring out of the picture, to integrate with the picture, to enhance the picture is always just spot on. Me and Masis have worked together for quite some time. He's always surprised me with the fantastic orchestration and I usually try to surprise him back with a fantastic mix of his uh, orchestration, which is so it gives us somewhat of a healthy competitive relationship. Working with Aya for the first time was just easy. She knew that we have honed our craft and she trusted that we've honed our craft and uh, gave us the freedom to, to experiment as we see fit. And she was never against an idea that we had, always encouraging us to get a little more creative, to push that limit a little more, which is, always great to work with when it comes to uh, directing. The software I used for mixing and mastering was uh, Logic Pro X. I've been a long time fan of Logic Pro X. I've used it all my life. I used Logic Pro 9 back in the day, even uh, went back to GarageBand growing up. So I'm extremely familiar with the workflow. Some of the benefits with working with Logic is workflow. It just simplifies busing and routing your tracks. It's just such a powerful engine that I've personally gotten used to. Of course, the choice of DAW that each person use is his own subjective opinion on it. They all basically work slightly the same way. It's what you got comfortable with. It's what you got quick with because you need to make split second decisions on uh, certain sounds trying to find the certain idea within the sound it just once you have a software that you're familiar with uh, reaching that stage will become way easier working in the pandemic was a little rough so to speak i recorded the aya through squadcast which is a podcasting platform that just excels in delivering quality over the internet. When we had to use Skype, unfortunately, the connection itself wasn't great. You'd have cuts in the recording. You'd have a downgraded quality of audio just so the connection keeps up. The creators of Squadcast basically prevented that from happening. They created a platform where it records individually from their own laptop. If they're hooked up to their own laptop, it's basically recording on a cloud from their end. So even if the internet glitches, their part is still recording. It doesn't compromise on uh, sound quality, which we needed. We tried to put her in the best environment possible, recording environment possible. Squadcast worked brilliantly. Honestly, some of the joys of working on this project was the people. Rashad, Aya, Masis, open to creativity. 
whatever idea any of us had, we always took it into consideration and found a way to make it work on all ends. Everyone on this project knew they were good at what they do. So everyone trusted one another to do what they do best. The thing I want audiences to listen to is probably the big bad booms, sub rumbles. We've placed a lot of those in there. I want them to feel the impact in their chest. Hopefully we delivered that through the big screen, the big picture, just to enhance the certain key moments. Of course, they need to listen to the brilliant music that Masis wrote. Receiving those pieces of music was just mind blowing. How well they integrated into the picture uh, enhanced Aya's movement on screen. Definitely listen to the music.